guys, check out the next level games for all your TCG needs. Link is down below in the description of the video. Thanks, guys. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today, we have the uh, other top four match. Uh, yesterday, we saw Emery and Nathaniel play it out, and Emery would take down Blacephalon with his Pikachu and Zekrom. And this time around, we actually have a pretty... I guess stacked match. We have Diego, a 2017 world champion. What is going on? Okay, that was that was a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. And on the right, we have Stefan Stefan Ivanov, uh, defending uh, NIIC 2018 champion, playing his Zork deck. Oh wait, if you don't know, Diego is also playing uh, Pikachu Zekrom. So we're gonna see Pikachu as Zekrom versus a Zork GX deck. I'm not sure how this goes i know it used to be pretty much in pikachu zekrom's favor for the most part uh, but now with the inclusion of persian gx uh, you're now able to one shot these pikachu zekrom gx and plus we know uh, stefan is playing his uh special what card is that oh that's the marsh out of reset hole uh he is playing his naganatal gx so uh i remember hearing about this and i was like man that seems really interesting because now you can just do some damage to a pikachu zekrom gx use stinger gx and just goose up the Pikachu Zekrom and just kind of knock it out and win that way. So we're going to see how Stefan does this. We also saw Stefan play his deck in top eight uh, against. Uh, hold on, hold on. I'm going to figure it out. Don't you, don't you let me down myself. Uh, against Magnus playing his Zapdos deck. I, I believe it's like a straight Zapdos deck. And we saw Stefan uh, pretty much just have Dugong and Giratina combo to take some uh, take some knockouts now. We do see some early screenshots coming down, some early headshots coming down, but Stefan having a pretty amazing turn there, having two Zoras, this is ditto. I don't think you really want to start with the Mars Shadow, but that Mew is great as well. It does help shut down that Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Bolt GX. So on the Diego's turn, let's see what he can pretty much go. We see the Pikachu Zekrom. Now, last time we saw Diego, he was really going for those Zapdos, but right now his hand is uh, pretty terrible. We see a Zark GX come down. He does have a Dugong. He could put down the Dugong. Nope, just going to trade it away. Saying, you know what? I don't need you right now, buddy. I'm just going to trade you away. You just go to the discard pile. You chill there until later on. We see that Stefan does have the triple acceleration energy. Uh, looks like he's going to trade it away, actually. John, two more cards. Getting a DCE and a Pokemon communication. Now, if he does find himself, let's see, like a Tapu Lele and is able to uh, somehow, like, goose Mother Pikachu Zekrom and start, uh, you know, do some damage to it. That could be very good. But we do see a Nest Ball, so I wonder if he's going to fill that last bench spot with something else, maybe another Zora. Um, and maybe he's just content with just passing because, you know, Diego's hand is, like, terrible, and he really didn't do too much because it's really interesting, like, if you're Stefan, do you go really aggro, or do you go the game plan of like, all right, I'm gonna knock a natal, I want a stinger, and then I'm gonna take a knockout that way. So we'll see a communication putting away the Persian, and I wonder if this is gonna grab himself. Uh, there it is, the Alolan Muck. This will shut down Diego's like Dedini GX from the Dedini change. Uh, gonna shut down the Tapu Lele Wonder Tag. It's gonna shut down his Jirachis. This is a pretty good card in this matchup. We'll see a DC be attached to Zark. We will see the Alolan Muck coming down onto the field and just saying, hey, no base Pokemon have ability. So that's going to put a put a wrench in Diego. And there we see top decks, the Marsh Shadow that he can't use now because that Alolan Muck is on the field. I mean, he can, but it's really not going to do anything. So we see Guzma bringing up the Alolan Muck. Does he have... No, he doesn't have Thunder Mountain. I guess he's just saying, you know what? This Alolan Muck has a full retreat cost. Um, so maybe, you know, he's like, hey, if you... Guzma around my Pikachu Zekrom. You're not hurting my Pikachu Zekrom. And you can't really retreat this little mug because that's four energy. So I, I guess, you know, that's a smart play. You know, just bring up the little mug. You're protecting your, you're pretty much protecting your Pikachu Zekrom because there's no way Stefan can retreat it. And there we see another triple acceleration energy being uh, traded away. So that is two so far. But remember, Stefan does play four of those. And he does have a Guzma. Go to Guzma, bring up that Zero or Sympus Zark GX. And right now, we're going to see a Riot is beating for 120 damage. Start putting some pressure on Diego for sure. 
I mean, Diego is definitely in trouble, though. Uh, he is, really doesn't have anything. Let's see what this top deck is, and it's in the Lightning Energy. So, you know what? <clears throat> uh, well, Diego doesn't have free retreat anymore because that Lola Muck as well. Um, so that's not good. So he can't, you know, energy attach, retreat, energy switch kind of combination. Um, it doesn't have a one retreat cost, so he can't escape board it. And we're just going to see a pass from Diego. It is not looking good. We're going to see some trade, get away to the seal. Um, let's see what else. He's got the Poip on hand. He might just trade that away and say, you know, I really don't need this Stinger GX, especially since, you know, uh, Diego's drawing so bad. So we see trade, getting the Pokemon communication, which he could find himself the third Zorark GX. And there we go. Going to put the Poip in there. Going to find himself a Zorark GX. And we're going to see another trade. So the interesting thing about this match right now is, you know, um, Persian GX. I wonder if we will see that attack into the Pikachu Zekrom. I don't know if Stefan plays Kikui, though. If he doesn't play Kikui, then that math doesn't matter anymore. It, it, it can't hit the Pikachu Zekrom number. So that's the big thing here. But he can also still just two-shot it. That's not a bad thing as well. We see, it looks like he's going to trade away to the Ultra Ball. Third trade is coming down. Uh, really, you know, nothing too crazy. He does have a Guzma, so he could Guzma the Pikachu Zekrom. Uh, swing into it, you know, do some heavy damage to it, and just kind of get ready for the next turn. So, gonna Guzma, gonna bring up the top, uh, the Pikachu Zekrom, gonna see a ride is beating for 120. No choice spin just yet. I don't think he needs choice spin. Does Pikachu Zekrom have 250 or 240? 9, 9, 10, 11. I think that's 240, so it should be able to two shot this if I remember correctly. I think it does have 240 HP. If I'm wrong, well, I'm sorry. But on a Diego's turn, still pretty much nothing. I mean, Diego can, uh, you know, I guess he can just use that first attack, get some energies on that bench, zero or, and that's pretty much it. You de you definitely attack, and you don't, I don't think you attach his energy. So we see an Electro Power. We see a Lightning attachment to the zero or, and, uh... We're going to see the GX attack, actually, and just take a knockout here. That, yep, yeah, that's what we're going to see. Uh, Marshadow Let Loose doesn't work, so... I'm going to put down the Marshadow Let Loose. And then we're just going to see... Yeah, Tackable GX uh, taking a knockout. There we go. So he is going to use Tackable GX. It does do 200 damage. He doesn't get the full effect. Well, either way, Stefan... Well, Stefan does have the Mew, but there's also a little bit of muck on the bench, so it kind of negate each other. But on Stefan's turn, going to get the Nest Ball... Uh, gonna find himself at the Meowth, which will allow him to grab the Persian next turn. But is it too? Uh, I mean, Persian's still good. Like it's attack, vengeance. Uh, I, forget, I can't remember exactly what Persian's attack is, but basically vengeance. Like I said, it can do a, a ton of damage uh, to these Pokemon. So we're gonna see some trades happening right now. Stefan does still have both trades. Uh, we'll see. Deal just looking through Stefan's surprise or discard file. We see a DC being attached to Zark. I love that Stefan's always using his older cards. He's got the older DCEs. He's got the older communication, the older judges. He likes the old artwork. I appreciate that. So Lily, uh, looks like it's going to be three cards. And I mean, outside of that, he's got a Pal Pad, which can put a Guzma in the deck. Do you really want to use it for just one Guzma? I mean, is it two Guzma or one Guzma? If it's two, then it's definitely worth it. There's one and there's two. So yeah, definitely worth it right now to put double Guzma in there. Uh, that will allow Stefan to have a better chance of drawing it to a next turn. Because hypothetically, he could, like, top deck it if he, you know, if it just happens to be on top. So, <clears throat> going to see a shuffle there. Diego's going to have a shuffle as well. And we'll see the Zorak take a knockout, and Stefan will go down to three prize cards. And I'm kind of questioning, I mean, I guess, you know, Diego puts down the Marshadow just in case, like, Stefan um, decides to judge him and he can't find another Pokemon. Maybe that's the reason behind it, but we see another trade. He's contemplating the Lele. I still think you do the Lele uh, no matter what. You have the stretcher in hand. You can get back the stretcher for the communication. And there is good old Guzma. Uh, so he does have Guzma for next turn if he wants to bring up that zero for the knockout. But Stefan going down to three prize cards. No need for it. Yeah, there's really no need for the Stinger GX right now. I, I think we're pretty much, you know, going at it. Uh... Diego's hand is uh, terrible right now. He has no energies, nothing, just sitting there. If I'm Diego, I might think about scooping. Uh, so we see a nest ball coming down. Maybe find himself a, a Zapdos. You know, Jirachi's useless. Um, 
Uh, that's the only card I can really see, like, justifying. Maybe another Pikachu Zekrom, but even then, like, I don't think you have enough turns powered up. Stefan just needs, you know, two turns. He's got Guzma hands, so he's taking a knockout for sure on that Zero Aura. He's got trades, he just needs to find one more Guzma, and he's got the game. Uh, Diego's, you know, Marsh Shadows don't work. We see a Guzma. Diego's going to try to, you know, buy some time. He's going to take a knockout here, though. He's got the Lightning on the Zapdos. Guzma up the Meowth. He's got the Thunder of Soul, so he will go down to three price cards. Uh, so Diego is still trying to give some fight, but man, he still has yet to play a uh, supporter card, it seems like. I can't remember if he played a Lily turn one or not, but outside of that, it is, uh, it's not looking good if you're a fan of Diego. But we'll see what happens. We know that Stefan does have a Guzma. We see uh, a headshot, okay? Then we see a, there's a stretcher for Meowth. Trade the seal. We see another Guzma going to Stefan's hand, pretty much solidifying the game. He's got the, the Guzma. I think you bring up the Zero Aura just in case, like, Diego has an Ace Arola. Speaking of Ace Arola, there's Stefan's Ace Arola. Nope, just going to see a ride is beating, just taking away the only thing, I guess, that does damage. I guess, you know, at this point, we're top four of an IEC. Stefan probably knows most of Diego's deck. He probably knows he doesn't play... Um, you know, he probably doesn't play <laughs> Ace Arola, so there's no reason to bring up that Zero Or Maybe the reason behind, that was the reason behind Stefan's. We see Diego, I mean, Stefan has like a billion cards in his hand. He is playing Zork. He has been trading every turn, taking knockouts. Uh, it is two to three. If you're Diego, I mean, what, you have Guzma, Double Skateboard, uh, Faulkner, and I don't think, man, uh, hmm. I mean, you can Faulkner... For like a lightning and Zapdos or something, but nope, Diego's just gonna scoop it up, saying, you know what, Stefan, you have about like a you have like a twenty card hand. I don't think there's any way I can, uh, you know, there's no way to negate that. So there we go, Stefan taking a pretty easy game there. There was, you know, Diego just kind of just dead drew. So give us a second, we'll come back into game number two and we'll see what happens. Alrighty, guys, the players are pretty much done shuffling, so we're about to start. Game number two. Now, the big thing to note is that if Stefan wins this, he goes to the finals. He can get defend his NIAC back-to-back uh, -back champion. I guess he can defend his title and uh, try to go back-to-back. -back. Man, that would be insane. There's only been one person who's done that, and that is Tord. Uh, look at that Electro Potter. <laughs> I don't know how to say the name. Uh, ooh, so Stefan prizes his Giratina, which he didn't really get used out of it, but we did see him use it against Magnus. Uh, where he was able to use the Giratina plus Dugong to pretty much take some knockouts. But here we go, guys. On to game number two, we do see uh, Diego starts with that Drachi, and Stefan starts with his Meowth. Now, this is a little better for Diego because he'll be able to use that Drachi at least for two, maybe more turns, depending on how Stefan's, like, Alolan Muck game goes. So, Diego has, <laughs> has a bunch of stuff happening. So, he's got the Volkner. He can Volkner to find a Lightning Energy and an item card. He's got the Zapdos Lightning, which he might just immediately put down. We see Volkner coming online, maybe grabbing a Lightning. And I'm not sure what trainer card he is really opting to get. He looks like he has Electromagnetic Radar already in his hand, so he could use that if he wants to. Um, let's see, what else does he want? He could go for Ultra Ball and let loose his opponent. Uh, that could be one thing he could do. He can, like, you know, Electromagnetic Radar, then he can go for Ultra Ball, find a Let Loose, Let Loose Stefan down to four, and just hope that Stefan dead draws. That might be the best way to go about this. So we see a Lightning and Ultra Ball going to his, uh, Diego's hand. We see Ultra Ball. I mean, he Diego could wait and use Electromagnetic Radar after the, um, after the Let Loose. So we see Ultra Ball discarding a Dedini GX and a Lightning. I imagine this is going to find the Marsh Shadow. There we go. So Marsh Shadow going to Diego San Diego saying, hey, I'm not playing this just yet. Hold on a second. Uh, see Zapdos, Lightning, Marsh Shadow, Let Loose. Going to put Stefan to four as well as Diego. We're at the at the mercy of Let Loose. And, and Let Loose is always weird, right? No matter what side of you own. If you're on Diego or Stefan's side, if you're Diego, like, yeah, you got a Zapdos, you got a Jirachi, so you can still wish again. So I guess you're in a better spot than Stefan, but I mean, hypothetically speaking, if you're Diego and you're a dead draw, it's always a weird thing, right? It's like a 50-50 shot, pretty much. Like, do you hurt yourself? Do you hurt your opponent? What if Stefan draws like three Zoras and a Lily? Then you're like, oh my goodness, what did I do to myself, you know? 
Uh, but we'll see. Let's see what Diego's hand is and see. Diego, you know, he's got himself a Pikachu Zekrom, a Lightning, but no supporter card right now. And then we see, you know, Diego does wake up from the sleep flip. And let's see what Stefan has. He's got, uh, ooh, he also looks like he has nothing. Looks like he has a DCE. And that is it. Oh my goodness. All right. So on a Diego's turn, can he find a way to retreat? Oh man. So now he's in this interesting situation. He has, he doesn't have a way to really retreat right now. Uh, he gets Stella Wish. Let's see if the Stella Wish finds him. All right. Does he find the skateboard off the Stella Wish? And nope. Oh man. So now Diego's just going to have to pass. I mean, he can't use Guzma. Uh, if, if Guzma allowed you to bring up just your bench, Diego would have already won. But your opponent has to have a bench Pokemon for you to switch your, your bench Pokemon as well. So that doesn't work. It just randomly, like, lightning really loud here. And it's sunny outside. Welcome to Memphis. All right, so another Jirachi coming down. And we're going to see a pass from Diego. Looks like it is going to be a Tails on a Stefan's turn. Does he have any life? And he does. He's got the communication. You can put in the Naganado GX. And I imagine this is going to find us a Tapu Lele. I don't think he's going to go for Dedini because Dedini will it will hurt him a lot, right? He doesn't want to discard all the stuff he has in his hand. Um, yeah, so we're going to see Tapu Lele. Oh, maybe. Hold on a second. Maybe we're changing the game up. He might be going for Tate and Liza. And the difference between Tate and Liza and the Lily is technically the Tate and Liza is going to get him more cards. So he could go about it that way if he wants to. You can see he's up on the Persian GX, which he's got to find another DCE. I mean, he could swing with the Persian GX. Um, you know, it'd be really, it'd be really interesting if he decides to go straight for Persian GX. I don't think there's no way Stefan does that. I mean, what Stefan could do, and maybe what he's thinking of, is he grabs like the Dedini, and then he attaches the DC to the active, try to hit the Persian GX and swing. Uh, seems risky though. I don't. I think I like the Lele into the Tate and Liza play. That's what I would go. But we'll see what Stefan does here because Lily's only getting him three. Um, and then Dedini will discard a bunch. Okay, looks like we're going Dedini. Looks like we're going for the data change. Okay. Oh, hold on. Nope. There we go. So grabbing the Lily, going to grab Lele, Lily, Lele's a Lily, my goodness, that's such a weird combination to say. He's grabbing the top of Lele for the Lily to draw just three cards. Now, Stefan could put the DC in the active and he could swing. The problem with that is there's a card called Tapu Koko GX and that card would be devastating to uh, Stefan right now. Like, could you imagine Tapu Koko GX just come down? You know, he's got the GX attack, does 200 damage, but Stefan does find Azora. He does find multiple Ultra Balls. So what he can do is he can Ultra Ball away the Zora, okay, or not. Just kidding. He can Ultra Ball both the Zoraks away for the Dedini, and then stretch them back into his deck. That is something he could do right here, like Ultra Ball, Zork, and Zork. And then grab the Dedini, then stretch the Zoraks back into his deck, and they go for a Dedini change. And let's see if he decides to do that or not. Uh, looks like he might be going for Stretcher though. Okay. Looks like he is. Maybe it looks like he really wants to conserve his bench spots, and that's what we're really seeing right now. So another Zora hit in the field. Okay. And uh, that's not. It's not too bad, right? Um, I just don't know how I feel about discarding the the Zork and the, you know you did start the Stretcher as well. What if, you know, I mean, I don't know what Stefan's prize card says. He probably does. But what if Diego, like, Guzma's one of your Zoras? We know he has Guzma in hand, so one of the Zoras are going to get knocked out. Uh, so you retreat, actually, to the top of Lele. going to conserve, you know, saying, hey, I'm also scared of top of Coco GX. So I think that's the reason why he did that. And we see the Drachi go up to 60 damage. And we see he has the Drachi waking up. So on to Diego's turn. He's got, he's got the Guzma. He's got the Guzma. He's going to knock out Zora for sure. That is uh, the game plan here. But we see Stella Wish. Uh, he's got the Ultra Ball or the Electromagnetic Radar. And if I, well, you already have a Zekrom in your, a Pikachu Zekrom in your hand. So which one do you opt to go for? Hmm. Looks like he's going to grab the Electromagnetic Radar. It's not terrible because 
if you discard it, whatever to grab your Zero Ore, that's okay. Uh, I'd rather do that right now than later on your topic and Ultra Ball because the Ultra Ball will allow you to get like the Marshadow and other stuff. So I like this over the um, I like the the Electromagnetic Radar over the Ultra Ball for that reason because it gets you the Ultra Ball gets you more Pokemon later in the game. So see Pikachu's Zircon come down with the Lightning Energy. Will we see the Electromagnetic Radar come down? No. And all right, so on to Stefan's turn. Who does he decide to send up? I'm going to send up the Tapu Lele. It looks like he is fine with just using Energy Drive right now. So we see, you know, the Zora come down. We might see a trade at the Nest Ball, get two new cards. And then hopefully there are two cards. Okay, Judge and Guzma. So in the end, it looks like Stefan is going for the Ultra Ball play to Dadini. So I don't, I still like the idea of last turn when you Ultra Ball the two Zora GX's way. To find a Dadini, and then you sh you stretch it back into two Zorak GXs, uh, because in the end they they uh you know you pretty much have the same output. But no, we're actually gonna see a Judge. Okay, so he he faked me out. So I was gonna say if he went for the Dadini play, he should have did that last turn. Uh, but no, we're sticking with our guns. No Dadini right now. We are just judging. Put in Diego F four cards. He did have multiple cards, so I understand that. That's fine. I understand it. I was just saying, you know. If you're going for the Dadini, you sh I think he should have went for it last turn. If, but since he's not going for it right now, I understand. He wants to conserve his uh, bench space, which is pretty much what is happening, I imagine. So we'll see both players getting four cards. Uh, Diego, I mean, not Diego. Stefan, of course, does have his trade. But right now, the trade does not look good. I mean, what do you pick? Do you pick the Alolan Muck? Uh, do you, I, mean, I don't even know. I mean, did he already trade? I just don't know. I just don't remember. Either way, it, it, Stefan's hand is not looking that good right now. So on the Diego's turn, let's see. Does he find a way to get his Pikachu Zekron powered up? If he can find, like, an energy, um, it didn't get the Zero Aura yet. Uh, so he doesn't have free retreat right now. Yeah, if there's some way that Diego can knock out this Tapu Lele with his Pikachu Zekron, then he's looking really good. So we see Guzma. Bringing up the Meowth, energy switch to the Zapdos, and you know, unconventional way of taking a knockout, but we're getting there. You know, Diego, Diego knows what he's doing. He He's in top four. He is a world champion for a reason. He has his place. He knows what he's doing. So it's Stefan's turn. I mean, Stefan is looking, you know, he's not looking at the best of spots. I'm not going to lie, but it's not over just yet, right? So see, okay, so now we see the Dadini. That's, yeah, yeah, it looks like we're finally seeing the Dadini change finally going to happen. Um, hmm. I mean, I guess since the Meowth is knocked out, maybe his, like, it, the Dadini is now a Meowth spot. And then he's got the triple acceleration energy, so he can attach that to the Zorg and maybe take a knockout on the Zapdos. But, you know, Stefan's going to have to go for that Stinger GX play eventually. He's going to, I mean, right now... Diego is going too fast. He he needs to kind of change the game up a little bit, and uh, I think that's the only way that's going to really help him this game is going for like a Stinger GX play. Uh, so see, you know, Dini using his thing, getting six new cards. Come on, Shebe, and he does have the option to get down a Poiple, to get down a Ditto, to get you know whatever he needs to start you know trying to get this Naga Needle set up. And um, he, he's going to take a knockout this turn. It, it's going to happen, right? So C-Trade, discarding Ultra Ball. There's a Ditto. There's a Choice Fan. So I definitely think you go like Ditto, um, Poiple, and Zora. Is that too many Pokemon? Ditto, Poiple, and Zora. But we'll see. I mean, it's it's Stefan's game. He's in top four. Not me. Uh, but I think that does give him the best shot of getting that Naganado out and going for that plane. If... That's the plan he wants to go for. I do see the Poipo. I do see the Naganado. And I think me and Stefan are on the same track here. If he does want to go for that Naganado play. Uh, you put down the Ditto. You put down the Poipo. You go, hey, I'm getting Naganado out. Like, no matter what. It, it's going to happen. So, Poipo coming to line. That's great. He's got the Ditto. That's great. Zora, knockout Zapdos. We're looking good. Stefan is going places right now. So, there's a Ditto. Poipo. Zora. Now there's one issue here. What if Diego somehow knocks out this Zork and uh you know Stefan does not have a way to trade, does not have whatever, you know? 
That is one thing he has to worry about. Now, he does have Stretcher, which will allow him to get a Zora GX no matter what. And uh, we do see the right is beating for the knockout. So, he's got the Stretcher. He's got a communication. He has ways, of course, to finding... I think they're talking about Naganado GX as well in the stream. You see Naganado just popped up. Actually, no. Pokemon was listening to me. They know what I'm talking about. There I go. Squeaky's talking about, you know, Naganado right now. We need to help him out by pulling the card up. It's got that Stinger GX. Both players sh uh, shuffle their prize cards in the decks. Then the player draws three or puts the top three cards of the deck into their prize cards. All right, so see Diego using that Stella Wish. I mean, the most useful card is probably a skateboard. I mean, Nest Ball could grab you Top of Coco. Okay, Top of Coco Prism seems a lot better, Josh. What are you talking about? You are crazy. So Top of Coco Prism comes down. We are going to see Dance the Ancients get a Lightning on that um, Top of um, like Pikachu Zekrom, and they probably you know maybe on the Zapdos. Mm. Yeah, I don't think, I mean, maybe on the Jirachi, if he already has a Lightning, um, that way if he does bring up the Zapdos, you still have the Lightning on the Jirachi for the free retreat later on, but either way, he has energy switches, these cards, it doesn't matter who he attached to, they're going to turn into all on the uh, Pikachu Zekrom, so one of the Zapdos, one of the Pikachurom, it okay, oh, what he's doing is he's doing double, oh, I see, this is very nice, I didn't know, I, okay, we're making sure... There we go. That's all I like to see. And we got the... Yeah, there we go. And, yeah, there we go. Getting six new cards for Diego. Okay. There we go. So, let's see. Does he find an escape board? That's what it's really... Oh, my goodness. Well, that's not good. He does have Dedini. So, he could go for a Dedini change if he's really like, hey, you know, we got to take a knockout here. So, maybe that's what he does here. Maybe he goes for the Dedini change. He, you know... Has to find that skateboard to give that Drachi the free tree, the free tree and so your tree while it's sleeping. So I think that's what. We, oh my goodness, it is lightning like crazy right now. Can you hear that, guys? Hopefully you can't. Hopefully my power does not go out because I, oh, I'd be so upset. But we see Drachi going to his hand. And let's see what Diego does. Puts down the Ether Paradise Conservation. That's very nice. And it's gonna reduce some damage. And there's the DD coming down. All right, so we're getting Shave A for six. Three, six. There we go. All righty. Let's see. What do we find? Oh, we've got the escape board. Okay, good. I didn't see the skateboard at first. I was about to say, man, Diego's really in a bad spot right now. But he's got the escape board. The bigger question is, where do these energies go? Right? Where, where do these energies go? Do they go on to the Pikachu Zekrom and saying, hey, you know, Stefan, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm forcing a four price card next, I'm four price turn next turn. I think that's what he's saying here. I think, you know, it's going to be Stefan to find um, the Mew. That's what Stefan needs. He needs an Ace Roller in the Mew. Um, if he doesn't find that, it's Diego's game. Like, huh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Yes, that's, that's the key here. He needs to find Ace Rolla and Mew to prevent, you know, Diego from winning. So, is he trade discarding the, uh, is that a Dugong? Yep, it's a Dugong. Okay. Let's see a Stretcher. Okay, the Stretcher could grab him a second Zorak GX and trade again. The, the, the real thing is just to find know if his Mew is prized. Do we know if his Mew is prized? I don't know. I don't remember. Okay, so we see Stretcher for Zark. Okay. We'll see another trade, but most likely. Let's see. Trade. Okay, the choice band, not bad. Okay, so he's... Uh, yeah, if you're uh, Stefan, you, uh, I think you you stick your hand out and you go, thanks for playing, Diego. You got this game. <laughs> um, because right now, you know, I don't think there's anything Stefan can do to prevent a knockout. Um, like, Stefan doesn't even have... He, he can go for third Zork. Sorry. He's gonna go for third Zork. That's what's happening right now. We see Zork number three coming online. Um, yeah, that's... That's what we're hoping for, right? If you're, if you're a fan of Stefan, you gotta hope you hit this Ace Roll. If you don't hit Ace Roll, uh, it's, uh, it's game over, pretty much. Now, you know, Pika Rob does a one-shot, um, you know, does a one-shot Zork, but... He just needs like a choice spin. He just needs like a, I don't know, an electro power. There's a lot of things that he can hit right now to help take a knockout. So we'll see him trade away the Nest Ball, drawing two cards. 
He's got to find Ace Rolla and Mew with these two cards. If he does not, then uh, we go to game three. So this type of Lele Muck, and if you're Stefan, I think you can see your hand and you go, hey, buddy. Let's go to game three, and that is what we are seeing. So, yep, Stefan, who had a little bit of a rough start, uh, but we're going to game number three. So, give us a second. We'll return with game number three with Diego versus Stefan. And uh, it's pretty much, you know, uh, you know, Diego drew, dead drew game one. Stefan kind of do. Not really. I don't know. It's, it's definitely weird, right? But we'll see game number three here in a second. And we'll see what happens. Does Stefan make it to the finals once again or not? We'll see you in a second. Alrighty, guys. On to game number three. We have Diego versus Stefan here. Uh, whoever wins gets to go in the finals. Play against Emery with his Pikachu Zekom deck. Will we see Pikachu Zekom finals or will we see Pikachu Zekom versus uh, another Zork match? But remember, Emery's deck is definitely more like Pikachu and Zekom focused. Uh, unlike Diego's, which is like, have, I think Diego definitely plays more Zapdos than Emery's. But here we go, guys. Both players are shuffling up. We're getting ready for game number three, and we shall see what happens. Let me know what you think, which one you'd rather see, or who do you want to see. Uh, you'd rather see Diego make it to the finals or Stefan going to the finals. He double, triple acceleration, and his Mandrelano <laughs> GX. What is that? How, oh, my goodness. I love that at NIC you can play your own uh country's energy like escape pl escape a plum i don't know how to say the name either for diego's a skateboard but anyways here we go guys on to game number three all right so we see diego starts with his zero or not a bad starter at all but stefan does start with his mew now mew was definitely a key card that we did not see in stefan's deck or anywhere um, in the opening turns that is very a very very key card because it allows your bench pokemon to not get hit by Pikachu Zekrom's Tag Bolt GX. That definitely is the thing that swings this matchup. If that didn't happen, then maybe Stefan has a chance in the last game. But here we go, guys. We're seeing Stefan start off with a Nest Ball. Looks like he's going to eyeball the Ditto. Maybe we see a headshot of Stefan, just in case you forgot what he looks like. I don't see he's, you know, which one do you go for? Do you go for Zora or do you go uh, for, I mean, either way, you got another Pokemon communication. I guess he's just eyeballing both up, saying, hey, I'm going to do this, this, there we go. Uh, so communication, and grab the ditto, so there we go. We're going to see a little shuffle, shuffle. And uh, I think Stefan does have a Lily in his hands. So he's going to be able to Lily get the optimal turn one that he wants to do. And we are definitely going to see a good game from Stefan as of right now. We see a DC he can attach to that Zora as well. And then we see a Lily. Going to draw up to six cards here. So one, two three four five six seven eight there we go all right so here we go let's see what happens find him a seal nest ball dce guzma so he's going to be able to nest ball for a second zora so you know stefan is doing his thing he is uh going at it right now um from diego's side you know it's interesting that he started with a zero aura but he's got pikachu zekrom in the hand maybe he just opted to i don't I mean i don't play lightning decks that much so I guess he wants to save his Pikachu Zekrom from getting hurt. Maybe he'd rather find like a Zapdos, Lightning, and Guzma up one of the Zoras and take a knock, quick knockout that way. Uh, so, let's see. We're probably just going to see a pass most likely for Stefan. Now, his hand after that Lily is not that great that I can tell from just right now from the side. But on to Diego's turn. Okay, so Diego, it looks like he's actually going to save uh stefan because you know he's got the pikachu zekom we'll probably see that come down a lightning attachment do you attach the choice band uh no actually lightning to the zero aura he probably plays four energy switches and there we see a thunder mountain coming to line we see choice band probably going to the active just you know try to get rid of mini cards as you can so when you go over this let loose you have a better option of drawing stuff and we actually don't see pikachu zekom not coming down at all you know, Diego saying, you know what? And that's cute, uh, but there's a Mew out, so I'm not gonna really care about Pikachu Zarkon right now. So we see, you know, Diego's, you know, I just opting not to go for, you know, he's not opting to go for Pikachu Zarkon. Maybe he's practiced his matchup a little bit more and knows that Zero Or is the better attacker against Stefan's type of deck. Because at this point, Diego knows Stefan's strategy. He knows that, you know, Stefan wants to use uh stinger gx and then knock out his pikachu zekrom 
Well, Stefan can't do that if Diego does not put down uh, Pikachu's that come for him to knock out. Now, we see Volkner. Oh, Diego's hand is very... Well, it's not too bad. He can, you know, Volkner for lightning and an Ultra Ball. Find himself the Dini. And he can go about it that way. He can also go for Nets Ball and go for Jirachi. Um, but the problem with that is it could get knocked out. So we'll see what he opts to do with this Volkner. Does he somehow get out his, uh, we see the Ultra Ball. Does he go for Jirachi or does he go for the Dini? Once again, if he's going for the Dini, I like getting the Electromagnetic Radar over the Ultra Ball because you can use the Ultra Ball later in the game. But we see you see Ultra Ball discarding Double Lightning. And we are going to see, let's see, which one is it going to be? It looks like, um, he keeps just going over different cards. I saw everything, I saw every card that he could think of. So I'm not sure if he's debating in his head, which one is the correct play. Uh, once again, we had a headshot, but there we go, Zadini. That's the problem with doing headshots. Like, yes, just keep it here, Pokemon. Just keep it here. Don't move. Just keep it here. I'm fine with this screen forever. Just keep it here. Electromagnetic, uh, not just electromagnetic radar, a, uh, why would you not test a choice band? I guess because you can skateboard the Dedini. Um, but yeah, I like, I like, see, I, 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 all this, all this stuff is making me feel seasick. Uh, <laughs> so, after that, I mean, Diego's hand is really, ooh, there's no supporter card in there. He didn't grab a Jirachi, so he can't go for some Stellar Guidance. Um, Stellar Wish, Stellar Guidance, I forgot the name of it. But, I mean, if Thunder Mountain does stay in play... Um, we can see Diego actually attack with Type of Coco GX. I definitely don't think you use Zara or as a GX attack right now. I definitely don't think you go for that. I think you just pass. And that's, I think, what we see. Yeah, we just see a pass onto Stefan's turn. So he does have a communication. It looks like he also has a Tapu Lele as well. There's a purple card in there. I'm so used to Zarg's only purple cards being Lele, and it is a Tapu Lele. So we'll see Tapu Lele going for Wonder Tag. And I wonder if he'll go for a Titan Liza. Because that seems kind of good right now, right? You you get your Mew out of the active. You can swing into the Zero Or. You already have your communication for Zor GX. Uh, nope, I'm going to go for Lily instead. Never mind, Josh. You are silly. Unless Mew has free treat and I just can't remember for some reason. If it's got free treat, then that's busted. <laughs> so... If he does get free retreat, we'll see communication. Put a Pokemon in there. Uh, Stefan's looking one more time. Hey, maybe you know, maybe maybe he's like, oh man, maybe I should have grabbed this Titan Liza. He's might tell me what is Mew's. Oh, no, show me Mew Pokemon. Show me Mew right now. I'm trying to see. Um. <laughs> Anyways, so we see that uh, getting a Persian, or getting rid of the Persian to find a Zark GX. There we go. Now the question is, do you trade away the Giratina right now, or do you just wait a second? Huh. Interesting. All right, so communication shuffle in the Persian, getting a Zark GX. Does he? Do you? Do you just? Yeah, maybe just Lily right now, and then who cares? Yeah, so you just go Lily for four. One, two, three, four. Cool. So he's got the trade away the Giratina. One and two. Uh, I think he accidentally saw the card. Uh, it was I think a Zora. Uh, yeah, I think it was an accident, and he accidentally saw the next card. Uh, he said, I'm about to Ultra Ball anyway, so it doesn't matter what's on top, but I think they're going to review. It looks like he traded. When he traded, he accidentally saw um, the next card, which he's got an Ultra Ball anyway for his arc, so I think that's what he's trying to say. So give us a second. Uh, they're going to talk about it, and we'll come back to see if anything happens or not. Alrighty guys, so we are back. Uh, so we traded away the Giratina and now we're using the Ultra Ball. I'm not sure if any penalties or anything were uh, given or any two price card penalties or anything like that. But we do say Siphon used the Ultra Ball um, and going to find himself probably another Zorark GX, I imagine, um, to try to tackle down this Zera or So see Ultra Ball discarding the Lily and let's see what else he gets. Um, looks like the other Lily is what's going to be discarded. I think 
So how does Stefan, I guess, like, the big question still is, is does that Mew have free retreat or not? That is uh, my, my my big question on my mind. Because if it doesn't have free retreat, he's good to go. We see the Lolan Mug actually coming down and saying, you know what, Diego? I don't want you to have access to Drachi. <clears throat> I don't want you to have access to another Dedini. It looks like maybe a prize penalty was given. Maybe that's what the poison counters just randomly just came out for to signify something. I'm not... Not entirely sure. I'm not listening to the auto, like I said. Uh, but we see a Meowth come down from uh, Stefan. Okay. Now let's see what else he's got here. It looks like, uh, once again, we got we got a face cam instead of me. Oh, my goodness. I, okay, so he did have to use DC to treat. And we do see 120 damage going down to the zero. Or there we go. See, man, I, I, we almost missed that. If he, uh, we can just get rid of the, the face cam, that'd be great. So on to Diego's turn. Let's see what happens here. It looks like, hmm, he's got, he can't use Tapu Koko GX anymore because uh, Lola Bucks and down. So that's good for uh, Stefan. I guess if you're a fan of Diego, that's not good, obviously. We see the Pikachu's.com finally come down. It was in Diego's early hands before he marsh out himself. Uh, but now it's back. It's ready to go. He does have an escape rope. I wonder who he's going to send up here. Who is going to... Maybe the Mars Shadow comes up or something, just to take a hit or something like that. Uh, no longer does Diego have free trade either, um, because of the Alolan uh, Muck. Alolan Muck does so much in this matchup of just you know, and just not realizing it. So we see the the escape rope. If you're Stefan, who do you send in? Oh man, it's a tough decision for sure. Maybe the lay. I mean, are you, do you are you scared that Diego has way like an escape rope, Thunder Mountain? Because that's all he needs to take a knockout. Not escape rope, an energy switch, Thunder Mountain. That's all he needs to take a knockout on something. He sees Stefan trying to figure out here what should he bring up. Oh man, I think man, maybe your best bet is Mew because if the Mew gets knocked out. It doesn't matter. Like the Mew. You know, it, it, it doesn't work anymore because Muck's on the field. I guess that's probably the best way, right? Uh, you need the Lola Muck. You need the Zord of Ovenus You need the Meowth to get in per a Lola Persian. Uh, not a Lola Persian. A Persian GX. So, yeah, I think sending the Mew is, unfortunately, the best option. But probably one of the easiest ways to take a knockout. So, you know, Diego already has Thunder Mountain out as well. But we see Dedini coming up. Okay. And just a pass. <laughs> So all that for just pass. All right, so <laughs> to Stefan's turn. He does have a field lore, and unfortunately that does not work on Thunder Mountain. He does have a judge, which, you know, if you're Stefan, you definitely don't want to play the judge right now because you know that Diego doesn't really have anything. Uh, we just saw him pretty much just draw and pass. So you don't use the judge. Uh, looks like we're trade away the triple acceleration energy to draw two cards, so one and two. He got a stretcher, and once again, we get a face cam, so I can't see the other card. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got a stretcher. Okay, Does, is there a Zarg GX in the, in the discard pile? We might just see another pass, maybe? Feeble Poiple, Judge, and yeah, just a pass from Stefan as well. So both players not really drawing too hot right now. Kind of just in this weird, Kind of like, hey, I don't know what we're really doing here. Now, Diego, it looks like he hit another, he hit a Guzma, which Guzma doesn't really do anything for him. So, we're most likely going to see another pass. So, we're going to see three turns of just passing. Just, uh, you know, pass and then pass and then pass. And, mm, looks like we're going to see another good pass here. Looks like Diego has maybe a switch that he wants to play. Maybe switch into the Marsh. Nope, into the Zera Aura. And I think what this does, it makes it where Stefan. No, he's going to use. Okay, he, what he's using right now is he just used uh, Pikachu's.com's. And he used Zero Aura's um, GX attack, full voltage, to put energies from Discard Pile to the bench, Pikachu and Zacom GX. Uh, you know? Um, I guess Diego said, you know, I'm tired of waiting. I'm just going to try. And I guess we're going to go this way. Yeah, I guess that's what we're doing. So. Stefan, you know, trades, finds himself a Guzma. Now he's in a situation. And what do we what do we do with this Guzma here? Do we bring up the Pikachu.com, swing into it? It's not a bad idea, and that's what we're seeing. So we see the Pikachu.com come up. Uh, it'll still first it still forces, you know, Diego to find himself an Electro Power, which 
We know the electric power is in his hand. We know that's in his hand. So he, oh, he can't because he's already used GX. So he has to find more than just an electric power. That is true, Josh. He already uses GX tech, so he can't take a knockout as of right now. He does have one electric power, which is 180. He'll need a choice band or another electric power to take a knockout. So he doesn't have that right now. He does have a Guzma, but not a way to switch. I mean, he can Guzma somebody, but then he can't switch, unfortunately. Uh, we see Tabu Koko GX coming down. It's, uh, GX abil it's, its ability does not work right now. Okay, so uh, Tabu Koko coming down. We see Guzma, which doesn't really do anything. I mean, oh, it just it just looks like Diego's just stuck in a weird hand right now. So we're going to see, you know, Diego swing. And I think the reason why I put down Topic Coco GX is because he's just looking just to power up his Topic Coco. And that's literally, yep, that's the reason why Topic Coco came down. He wants to use Skyhawk Claws for 130 and go about it that way. Uh, we do see 150 damage coming down to the Zorak GX. But if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure Stefan has himself an ace roller in his hand so he will be able to ace roll the active uh negating all the damage and uh pretty much knocking out this pikachu.com going down to three price cards so let's see what happens with stefan he does have one trade and when he ace rolls he'll have another trade so that's really nice and let's see how he wants to go about this and you definitely want to evolve that meowth into a persian uh as well if you can um, that person would be really nice. So we see probably say trade. Looks like he's eyeballing the judge. Um, you really, you know, Diego's just in a bad situation. So you definitely don't want to judge him. I feel like you want to discard the nest. Yeah, okay. Discard the nest ball. Draw two. Hit a seal. Hit a stretcher. Okay. Uh, we got an ace roll. So we can ace roll the active Zork GX. Okay. There we go. Pick up the Zork GX. We'll send in the Zora, put down Zora, put down Zora, attach a DCE. We get another trade as well. So we'll see another trade happening. You discard the seal or the dugong, whatever that is, and then set up a play with your Persian GX to knock out the Tapu Koko. Because that would be really cool. Because, you know, as of right now, you really don't have a way to knock out this top this Tapu Koko when it comes up. So we'll see another trade. And you see, hey, triple acceleration is in the bottom part, car, in the bottom card. So you know, if, if Stefan can, you know, get a bunch of Pokemon to discard pile and maybe one shot this um, this Tapu Koko GX, and it looks like it might be going somewhere. Looks like Stefan has an Ultra Ball, and I think if you're Stefan, you definitely have to get out this Persian GX. I think you need your uh, Persian GX for next turn. I think you need it to swing, try to get a knockout on the Tapu Koko when it comes up. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Yeah, there it is. Persian GX. You you want to make sure that this top Coco does not knock out your Meowth because a, a Persian is pretty much the only way you can watch out this top of Coco. Um, so yeah, we'll see Stefan get the Persian. He can't use the Catwalk, but he's definitely pr protecting it, right? Uh, okay, and we are just going to see a ride is beating for the knockout. Stefan will go down to three prize cards. Did uh. Did he have an Ether Paradise Conservation in his hand that he could have maybe used? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, maybe not. Yep, yeah, well, there was one in there. I wonder why he opted not to play that. Hmm. Uh, maybe I'm missing something. Anyways, on it's Diego's turn. Uh, he sends it to Zero Aura. He does have Guzma. Uh, like I said, he protected his Meow. So he's going to go there. Now, if you're Diego, man, if you Guzma... Who do you Guzma? Maybe the Zora? Muse useless. So, you know, I think you take out the only thing you can really take out. Maybe he's hoping for, like, a way to one-shot the Tapu Lele. Uh, oh, he did have an Electro Power, so he could have done that. And if there is a prize penalty, then Diego would have won the game. He would have Guzma, double Electro Power, won the game for sure. But he does not have that. Diego is in a tough spot right now. That little Lulamuk is doing work. I guess one thing that, you know, Diego could do... Is Guzma bring up the Alola Muck and smack it for a knockout? That might be the best way because then you have access to like your Marsh Shadow, you have access to another Dedini GX if he has it in the deck, um, whatever kind of abilities he needs, the free retreat as well. So maybe you go after the Alola Muck, uh, but then you give access, you give your opponent access to Zora. Hmm, interesting. Uh, looks like we are going after the Alola Muck. I do 
think this is the best option. Um, I, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's the best option here. Going to send me a little muck. Going to take a knockout with Skyhawk Claws. Diego will go down to three price cards. And then I think if you're Stefan, you send up the Alolan Persian. And then I think there's sh maybe he has enough in the in the price cards or in the discard pile to take a knockout. So see, one, two, three, four. I think there's five in there, maybe six. I don't really, can't really see um, from these, you know, these great angles that these cameras randomly change into. But we see, man, you gotta think he's he has a way to get enough in a Pokemon to discard pile. I feel like with with, with trades, he can. Uh, I think he can get there. So we see, oh my goodness, and he top takes a steal. So he can like trade away, trade, and then he can like communicate. So see a trade, discarding that, drawing two cards, finds a second Zorak GX. My goodness. So we'll see a trade, uh, discarding the seal. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Stefan should definitely have enough to one shot um, this type of Coco. So see, actually, it looks like he might have. So many Pokemon in the discard pile that he doesn't even care about putting down this uh, seal, right? Or doesn't care about discarding the seal. Well, that's that's pretty crazy right there. Uh, so, see Stefan, he does have two triple acceleration energies in his hand. Uh, one for the price card. And they receive communication. And we're going to see, no matter what, you know, if Diego is on, if he does have, you know, only has to take one price card. He has Guzma to bring up the immune, no matter what. If we want to go about it that way. We do see a Lele going to his hand. Okay, we see Guzma. Guzma Lele, maybe he wants to just swing into something. Yeah, there's a Lele. Okay, oh, maybe not. Oh, oh, there's a Lele. Maybe he just wants to Guzma the Zero Aura to get rid of the free retreat. Uh, make it a little bit harder for Diego. I mean, no, I think you, man, if you have the option to knock out Tapu Lele, do you go after it or not? Or do you get rid of the free retreat knowing that Diego could have like a Tapu Coco Prism? So it's it's like weird, right? So I think he's yeah, he's going after the the Zero or GX saying like, Hey, you know what? You got your abilities again. I don't want you to have like some crazy Taco Coco free retreat um, shenanigans kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna goose up your, your Zero or take a knockout and just I think go about it that way. Right? He can't use catwalk because you know non GX was knocked out. I think that's what they're like I don't know. I think they're just curious. Uh, Stefan definitely knows you can't do that. Uh, I don't know if that's what they're even talking about. Okay, so we see Guzma bringing up the Zero Aura. And we're going to see a right is beating for the knockout. Stefan Avinov going down to one prize card. And now it'll be up to Diego. And once again, the big question, you know, does Diego, does he have the prize penalty to help him? That's the only way I can see him winning. All right, so let's see. Oh, oh the great headshots again. Like I've always said, they're beautiful people. Well, I got you. All right, so Danny comes up. We see a Lily. That's not what he wants. It's definitely, and you can see he definitely, you know, he has his eyes on Guzming, 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 um, because he sent up the the Denny, the Denny. So, so we see Ultra Ball. Oh yeah, there's definitely a two prize card penalty. That's why those are chilling right there. Look at there. Oh, and the cameras been updated. Oh duh, and the price card's been updated, Josh. So, so do you guys only taking one price card? Is that right? Hmm. I don't know anymore. I thought he's knocked out more than just one. Maybe he hasn't. Huh. Oh, yeah. So Diego's only taken one price card. I guess they must have changed it. And, uh, yeah. So there's definitely a two price card penalty for accidentally seeing your card. Okay. So that's what happened. Uh, but so Diego has to take three more price cards. Oh, I was confused the whole time, man. I thought, you know. Oh, so it even looks way, it looks a lot worse for Diego now. Man, all, so all Stefan needs to do next turn is find a triple acceleration energy and a Guzma, and he has game. I am pretty sure he can knock out Top of Coco. He can knock out whatever he needs to. Man, I didn't notice the price count changed. Okay, I guess, yeah, Diego only take one price card. Interesting. Only knocking out the Alolan Muck so far. I thought he knocked out more than that, but I guess not. This game has been pretty long. It's been a long three-game series. I mean, we're down to tw less than 20 minutes. So, we see a Dedini change coming down. Uh, he is definitely looking for a Guzma. I guess he's trying to knock out the Persian. But, let's see. There's the Marsh Shadow. So, he's got a Marsh Shadow. He can let loose. Put Stefan down to four cards. 
But it's going to come down to, does he find himself a Guzma? Since Stefan knocked out that Zero Aura, he does not have free retreat right now. Oh, man. I mean, I guess he could attach energy to the Dadini, I guess, if he wants to. Looks like it's going to the Jirachi. Energy switch up to that. He's just playing all of his outs right now. He is definitely trying to knock out that... No, can he even knock out the Persian? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I mean, it'd be insane if he knocked out the Persian. He needs a lot of cards. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. So, let loose. Putting in the both at four cards. <clears throat> I can't remember if Diego has used an electric power. I didn't mark it down. I was more worried about a Guzma play because I thought Diego only would take one price card. Uh, but turns out Diego needs to take a lot of price cards, actually. So is he a skateboard? No, Guzma. Man, if oh my goodness, if you're Diego, I mean, what you swing into the Zork and just cross your fingers? Stefan just needs one knockout. He just needs one. Just he just needs Guzma. So sends in the Jirachi, sell a wish. Does he find himself a Guzma? And uh, the answer is no. Uh, and yep, there we go. Stefan taking the game and advancing to the finals. Wow, that was insane. So there we go. Stefan advancing to the finals. Uh, Going to make it to the finals for the uh, second time in a row for NIAC with his Zork deck. All right, guys. So there we go. Tomorrow we'll see Stefan versus Emery. We'll see another Pikaram versus uh, Zork, Dugong, uh, Naganado, GX. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hit the subscribe button. Alrighty, bye.